Hey guys, my name is Ragnar Tornquist and I'm the creative director of Red Thread Games. And I'm Martin Bruscard, I'm the design director. And we're here to talk about Dreamfall Chapters, a sequel to The Longest Journey. And we're going to do a developer's walkthrough of Friar's Keep, a location early on in the game. And this location, um, you play Kian Alvane, who was a character in the previous game. He's in jail at this point and he's awaiting his death sentence. Yeah, he's, he's lost all faith. He's given up, oh, as we will be able to tell by the yeah. conversation he has here with, a, with an old acquaintance, I the Warden of Friars Keep. Turned down your last meal. Mm, pity. I personally approved the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. So here we're going to see the uh, the dialogue system at play, and what we're doing here is something brand new. Um, we are giving players a chance to peek inside the mind of the characters to get a uh, sort of an inner thought process before choosing a line. Yeah, we felt uh, a lot of the, a lot of other games didn't really let you predict what your answer would be. You would uh, select one answer, and, and your character didn't really say what you intended uh, him or her to say. So we feel like this is a good good option to let you peek into uh, into the mind of the, of the character you're playing without sort of spoiling the line in a way. You sort of don't exactly know what the character is going to say, but it gives you a chance to sort of listen to that inner monologue, and that's that's really important for us. I mean, Dreamfall Chapters is a, is a dialogue-heavy game. Uh, there are a lot of branching dialogues, a lot of choices you make in the dialogues that affect the rest of the game. So it's important to understand and the character's motivation for doing what they're doing. And the heading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to um, voice a preference. So in this dialogue, uh, the warden has basically come to uh, tell Kian that uh, he will die tomorrow morning, really. And sort of it's an interesting way to start a character's journey through a game, uh, basically with their the end of their life. Yeah. And we can tell by, by the by character's dialogue options here that he's... He's basically just given up. Man. Or to anyone. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. But do I deserve that death? I laid down my own sword. I turned on my own people. But actually, in, the, in this dialogue as well, we, we get to know the, the warden a little prisoner. bit better as well. Uh, which Soon actually will uh, come in handy later. We, we, some of the puzzles that we implement um, require you to sort of listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. to pay attention. But then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me, almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my well, for new players, of course, and Dreamfall Chapters is a game that is definitely uh, going to be fun and playable for people who haven't played uh, Dreamfall or The Longest Journey. Uh, this sort of establishes both characters. Uh, you know, the warden as this sort of uh, by the numbers man, and Kian as this. Uh, well, he is a warrior and assassin, but at this point, he's really nothing more than a dead man walking, I guess. Somebody decided to give up, to mm, to stop fighting. I wish he would just leave. I have nothing more to say to him. I don't care about what he doesn't understand. No one can. No one will ever know why I chose to stop living. How can he understand? How I think these, these, these to have dialogues are, are super pieces, important uh, in order to establish to the characters both that you for, have no faith in. for old players that have oh, played the previous games no to see trust. where the characters that they know, where they are leave. in the present, mm. sort of in, in this game, where, where are they? Well. But also for new players to sort of Give a perspective Everything of who, who this is. Mm, absolutely. So, I like Martin said, this this conversation is is both sort of establishing the characters, but also uh, setting up a uh, situation uh, a bit later on in this in, this, in this walkthrough, uh, where you have to actually remember what the warden says, and it's sort of we want people to pay attention. I mean, this is a. Dreamfall Chapters is a story-driven game. It's a game of story, choices, characters, consequences. And therefore, uh, it's a game where you have to listen. It's, it's not like an, an, an action game where the dialogue is just sort of there to, to fill the blanks between the shooting. It's here, it's, it's principle, it's key to the whole gameplay experience. Get up, Kian. There isn't much time. 
So at this point, the uh, the player is told to to move. Uh, in this case, with the keyboard, the game also supports uh, joypad, of course. About bloody time! Come on. And Let's here go. we are in interaction. What's going on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. It's very impatient. <laughs> What's going He's on down there? Man. That boy is a made-to-order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City. Precisely. Where I made a daring swashbuckling last-minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. Some of you guys who played the previous games might escape. recognize this this place. Is this the Forest Keep where uh, Zoe once were captured? Yeah. So it's a jail in the uh, city of Mercuria, in the world of Arcadia, which is a magical fantasy a world. Boy. In Dreamfall Chapters, we have two worlds. Um, What's going on out there? One is Arcadia, and the other is Stark, which is Wish our world in the future. Uh, a kind of a cyberpunk, dark, futuristic world. So we sort of have both universes in this game, both the sort of magical fantasy and the cyberpunk realism. And you play uh, different characters in, or a different character in each world. In, in Arcadia, you play as Kian Alvane, at least in the beginning. And in Stark, you play as Zoe Castillo, also a returning character from the So So what this captain explains now is that we need to, they need to escape. Uh, and in order to do that, we need to find the key to the gate. Um, and this is quite early in the game, so we, we made it so that the first puzzles, he's still, he's still uh, getting breathing. the first key is quite I've simple, uh, which is still be interesting. That long. And I yeah, we don't want anybody to get stuck at this point. We just want them to familiarize themselves with the uh, the UI, the, the controls, before we sort of have more challenging gameplay. But I mean, the, the, the Dreamfall chapter is not a game about super hard puzzles. You it's a game about story. It's either. a game about choices and consequences. If you can and it's much more about sort of death, seeing these characters on their there. journeys through the game. He looks badly yeah. hurt. So yeah, we have a, again a long. conversational choice. But we can't just leave him here either. How are you feeling? So we're going to be a little bit uh, more pleasant. No. We're just not going to get right down to business, but we'll try to sort of check up on this guy, see how he's doing. Take the key it's obviously been God's some boy. sort of combat between Save a prisoner and, and a guard, and the There's guard is dead. More I can but do the prisoner him. is also dying. He's already dead. All I can do is reassure him. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. So by choosing this helping option, he will tell us anything about his family. Um, and in, later in the game, uh, you will be able to uh, pay a visit to his uh, widow and children, I guess, uh, and to tell them what happened to him. So, you know, we are making a choice here that has a consequence later on. Yeah, it's, it's important for us to, to sort of make that promise to the players to... When you, when you do make choices in the game, you can see that it actually has an impact on the world. You will actually be able to meet that, uh, his wife uh, and kids and talk to them about, about him, basically. I have to promise. And some of the choices we're going to see later on here are called decision points, where you make a choice that actually has a pretty important uh, um, impact on the story. My name is Just want to remind everybody that we're playing a pre-alpha version of Dreamfall Chapters here, so there's a lot of stuff that's unfinished. Some of the voices are placeholders, uh, some of the art animations and etc. Uh, the game is not due out for another year. Um, so, you know, you're going to see things that are, are basically unfinished. So we're going to search the garden, we found the key. So really not a very difficult puzzle. Mr. No. Design Director. <laughs> <laughs> no, as I said, uh, we wanted the first one uh, to be quite simple. Uh, I think all of them, uh, or none of the puzzles here will be categorized as super hard. Uh, but still, we wanted some progression, uh, making the first one super easy, super easy and then uh, increase the difficulty slightly as you go 
uh, further up in the in the prison. So we picked up a shiv now, and we basically uh, interacting with this prisoner. And now we get one of our decision points: to either mercy kill the prisoner or do not mercy kill the prisoner. And we can actually do something interesting, and we can check on one what the world has chosen. And we can see that 66% of the world has chosen to mercy kill the prisoner, and 34% have chosen to not do it. And three of our friends, actually, Maya, Gabrielle, and Isabella, have all chosen to mercy kill the prisoner. So we're going to go with that option. May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. And what we can do, we can, we can sort of discuss this option with our friends. We're giving sort of a social element to the single player story based experience. Uh, by letting you see what the world has chosen and what your friends have chosen, it creates not only a decision point, but a discussion point. And that's really important for us. All of the decision points in the game can be shared. Uh, you don't have to, you can turn that functionality off, but I think it's something that players will really enjoy uh, to be able to connect with your friends and see what they have done and to discuss it with them and to, to make it a shared social experience playing this game the way you want to play it. Upwards, ever upwards. So now we're reaching uh, the next floor, uh, and we'll soon find out that there's another locked gate. Down there, uh, and so we find fiery they death. will understand. We hope up, that that's that's sort of the puzzle, and the captain will also explain to you like we need to go upwards, ever upwards. Ever what upwards. did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save So anyone. through this whole sequence, this escape, you're, so you're getting pieces of the story, uh, a sort of a recap of what happened to this character, Kian Alvane, in the previous this. game, which is great for, for, I think both crimes. for uh, old players and new players, me? because, you know, it's been a while since the previous game, so even the people who didn't play the previous game, they probably have forgotten a lot of what happened. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. This one to mention this quite often, like, you're not always locked in in a dialogue here you can you can roam around and look around uh, while the while the captain is talking to you the infamous broom martin <laughs> yeah as you usually said as long as you can pick it up then you probably should pick it up in, uh, in an adventure game but basically if you would have uh, uh, tried to open the gate behind you it would said it's locked and we need to find a way to open it uh, so now we have a broom i guess so I'm actually going to go and uh, try uh, uh, something first because we do have something thin and yeah. long. Yeah, you can try it. Shadow be damned. It broke. Oh no. The blade That's too easy. <laughs> it's got to be more complicated than that. <laughs> we try to support all the things that players want to do uh, in the game, obviously. Um, but, you know, uh, we need to have some challenges. Really doing here so now the, the uh, challenge is to, uh, to figure me, out um, how to people? pick that lock. You can you can talk to the uh, the know. captain here as you're as you're I escaping as well to fill in more of the story. You don't have to. Uh, we're leaving a lot of the story for you else. to discover and to yeah. dig into at will uh, without forcing it on you. What they have planned. Uh, we we think that's a, that's the right way to go. We know that there are many different types of players out there. Some people uh, are now really curious on how to open that door, and some people would like to know more about what's going on in this world. So, cater for both worlds, I guess. We, of course, love the people who want to dig more into the story because we've uh, created that option, so we want people to find it. So we found an unlocked cell, and we're going to take a peek out the uh, window. And here we hear the guards outside seeing the prisoner in the window this and trying to shoot, fate. shoot arrows Sooner at him, later, one of those arrows will pierce my skull. Yeah, we're missing the sounds for the guards there, but as you can see, they're sort of firing arrows. And you can keep doing this, and Kian will uh, comment on it Mostly as you do it. Uh, looks like. Obviously, you're not uh, solving the puzzle by doing it, but uh, you're getting a clue. Also, fun fact: this is uh, Zoe's old cell. Is it? Yeah. God has saved me. I'm playing the Dolmari gamble with my. Oh, life. you don't want to play the Dolmari gamble with your life. <laughs> it's dangerous stuff. God has saved me. I'm really testing my life. Gamble my life. <laughs> Here we have a pillow. A filthy pillow. A filthy pillow. Yeah. Hasn't really been washed in a while. Not since Zoe was there, I guess. So now we got a broom and a pillow, and it says on the screen now use one item to, to on another to combine. I guess that's a clue. 
So you get the old broom and a pillow, pillow on a stick. <laughs> it's very popular in Norway, pillow on a stick. <laughs> Especially during the holiday season. It's what we do, really. And by using this, we fool those guards into firing a couple of more arrows, and voila! A lock it's undamaged, and thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. So the captain gives you uh, friendly hints to uh, what your next action could potentially be. Uh, keep in mind that this is uh, quite early in the game, uh, where we need to teach players the different, the the different mechanics of the yeah, game. And you call that a clue? You basically says pick the lock with the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just giving you a clue, it's giving you the solution. Follow the me. clue. Let's go upwards. Are you ready for the third floor, Martin? I am, Ragnar. Ever upwards. We might uh, actually meet an old acquaintance here. The same old acquaintance or a new one? Ah, it's, it's actually the same. Why, if it isn't our old friend, Mr. Murren. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's <clears throat> quite impossible, Balsay. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojo's unclean genitals, Warden, open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. May the Mojo befoul your filthy arsehole, Murren. Let us through right bloody now! Is this not a PG you my hands on you, Warden? You will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. One day, Morin, we will see you garroted in front of this entire city. Well, at this point, we're encountering our first dialogue puzzle, I guess we can call it. Or dialogue challenge. Remember earlier when we talked about having to listen to the Warden in Kian Cell? Did you listen? Well, you know, aside from the fact that you can't listen when we're talking incessantly on top of it. But if you had listened, you would know uh, how to navigate this dialogue. People like him only respond to violence and threats. He's it's scared. also important to mention that I should treat him as if such. you actually didn't pay attention, uh, we will to be do some things to help you through. It's not like you need to give him too much load your recent save games and, and, and listen to the conversation over again. But it, it really helps you see if he just to paying that. attention. Then, then you actually listen. know the answers to We reward questions. you for, for, for yeah. listening, your but we don't punish you for not listening. You will, you'll will still be able to get through it. But, but here you basically have to uh, remember what the warden said about himself. That he's a pragmatic man, a man of reason. I see. And he's told you at least a couple of times that he doesn't respond well to threats. He has, ah, and he does not. He does not. So here we can try to reassure him, we can tell him to uh, trust us, or we can try a practical argument. I'm, I was the apostle. I was always true to my word. And again, we're getting in sort of an inner Come monologue and an insight into what Kian is thinking with each line here. And, and these lines also fill in a bit Doesn't of the backstory. He claim to be a practical man. If that's the case, he would listen to a practical argument. Now, I think I a practical just have to argument is carefully. probably the way to go, is then, Martin? He's not likely it to is. fold easily. That is the right. Think carefully about not this, that, Not that we would know. My but, loyalty no. is your only hope at this point. So we're going with the practical Perhaps, argument. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people but, at their word. But uh, the warden uh, in prison. doesn't Honestly, necessarily take people's uh, words for it. Supply in here. But you can tell from the dialogue that he's sort of becoming a bit more lenient. He's warming up to kill the yeah. So now we have four options. We can appeal to his sense of family, we can threaten his family, we can try to bribe him. Buy him. I'm sure he will be swayed. Or we can just try to hurry things along. That he is. What did he say about family again? He I may treasure think, uh, his office above his blood. something about being a family but maybe he will listen he did. to reason if uh, I how appeal much to his sort of sense family. His family. You are a family man, Murren, are you not? Do you wish to see them left fatherless? If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Open up. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. God forgive her. She's a good woman, 
but merely a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Albani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. All right, let's move on. But, oh wait. Bam, you didn't see that, com that one coming. I did not. <laughs> so here we have another decision point. And this one is a, is a, is a time mod, so you need to make a decision now before uh, Kiel makes it for you. We can see that 42% of the world chose to kill one Murn and 58% let him live. Two are friends to our friends are bloodthirsty because we have three friends who chose to kill him. Yeah. But you know, we're good people. I think we're gonna let him live. I read the world of a piece of sadistic vermin who sold out his own people. Look who's who's talking. And this has major consequences actually in the game. Um, but some of those consequences won't really be apparent for another three or four hours of the gameplay, I think. Some actually will... You'll have to wait until the very end of the game. And the game is about 10 to 12 hours long um, to find out uh, what the repercussions are. And, and that's really important to us, to, to make these consequences felt over time. To really make you question every single decision you make. We need to show the players the consequences of their actions. That's, and that they matter. Yeah. But here, new floor. Uh, new challenge. New challenge. Maybe the most now difficult one. I don't know. The roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. But I think it is. What yeah. part of I actually, I think probably the, the pillow and arrow. It, 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 yeah, it, it, it's between the two. Did you fail to but basically here the, the, the staircase Why ends. Your people trust um, me? But there is a enemy. gate here. That takes you up to the roof of the, the prison. Enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people. But there is no key to this door, is there, uh, Martin? How nope. No matter how long you spend searching here. for a key on this floor, you won't oh, I know. You won't find one. But you another find, solution. Yes, you'll find something else. Now, you need to be a bit need to uh, get more to creative the somehow. The gate won't get us there, and anyway, it's blocked. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. I also have to add here that we haven't, we haven't placed out every interactable oh, item uh, in the game yet. So right now it seems like whatever, uh, whatever you can interact with is the solution to the puzzle, which is correct in this playthrough, but it won't be in the final game. Food from the You'll tomorrow. have a lot more stuff to interact with, to look at, to poke at, to play with. Yeah. But basically here we found an elevator shaft. It's used for sending food up and we down the prison. A food elevator, I guess? You can call it that. Yeah. And we tried to climb it, but it's oily and no we can't get a grip on it. So we have a napkin. We should try to polish it off a little bit. Yeah. That doesn't help us anything. It gives us just an oil-soaked napkin. And that might be a clue for some. Mm-hmm. There's a candle. So, I was hoping that people would think of creative ways of removing oils from stuff. And uh, fire is one of those. So if you combine the napkin with the candle... It put out the candle. We need a bigger flame. We need a bigger flame. Famous last words. To see where this and is there we go. We got ourselves a torch. I don't think it's that hard. No, maybe not. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. You first. If that chain's still hot, I want some He's warning. He's a smart man, Captain. <laughs> Just don't want to touch that chain. I wouldn't either. But Kian, of course, is a manly man and is also very sweaty at this right. point. It probably gives us some insulation against the, uh, the heat. Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. 
And this is also a time sequence, so basically you have to do things uh, quite quickly here to uh, avoid the guards barging through that door. Now arm yourself. As you can see, they're starting to, to bang on the, the gate at this point. Come over Just here now! By the Mojas, blow the test it. Stop fucking about and get your ass over here, boy! How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way? Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood. It requires a life. No. No. I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave, or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. Can you say the same? Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. So, take that sword and take my head so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. Just do me the favor of a quick and clean death. So a new decision point and a tough one this time. Do we kill the captain or don't we? 92% of people chose to kill the captain. Wow. 8% didn't, but three of our friends didn't kill the captain. Goddess, forgive me. We're gonna do it. A clean strike, boy! Remind that this is pre-alpha and uh, the cinematics there are very much work in progress. There's a lot of work still left to do on this. But a portal opens up. And just in the nick of time, I guess. The guards barge through the door. Kale is shot through the portal. And scene. And scene. So Dreamfall Chapters is coming out in November 2014. And again, what you just saw was a pre-alpha version of Dreamfall Chapters. Work in progress, still got a year to go, so there's uh, lots of work still left to do. Uh, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, uh, and visit our website to, to get more information about the game. Well, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thanks. It's been a pleasure showing you this very first gameplay walkthrough of Dreamfall Chapters. <laughs>